<laughs> nah, I mean, it's a cool position to be in, you know, especially uh, you got embracing the last two teams standing, so um, all eyes will be you know, averted on us, and that's a great feeling. Clay, how are you feeling? I mean, uh, yeah. I feel great, honestly, these last two days. I feel like I've got my win back, and last tomorrow's the final tune up, and, uh, you know, just trying to, you know, stop their nerves and anxiousness or keep it. Uh, down as much as possible. What's, Clay, what's the official what's the, uh, process uh, of uh, getting cleared right now? Uh, I'll get, honestly, I'll be evaluated right after I speak to you guys, and you know it's looking like I'll be ready for Thursday. I'm, you know, almost I'm 99.9% .9 positive I will be. How did it feel scrimmage today? It felt great. Uh, you know, um, yesterday I was a little tired, but today I feel like I got my win back. And, uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll be following two up and. Uh, this situation mess with your rhythm at all? I know there's no perfect way to get ready, you know, ready for the finals, but uh, this I is different. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we've had so much time to get it back that I don't think it really messed with it. With you though in the, in the head situation and the doctors and yeah. them telling me what to do and how to act and where to go and what not to do? Yeah, uh, I don't think so. I'm just trying to do everything to get prepared. And, I'll be all right. They do have my best interest, so that's how I look at it. Clay, the uh, Oracle's being transformed today. Uh, the banners are going up. What would you say to, to the Oakland fans? It was just two days out. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, this is great for the city. It's great for the Bay Area, and uh, we're just as excited as them, as them. And you know, we're gonna do a big for them, and we're gonna bring it home for them. How eager are you to get out there? Can you wait till Thursday, or are you ready to just get out there and play right now? We're all ready to get out there, but uh, you know, we took care of business early, and we you know, got to look at the bright side. We got some time off to get healthy, so uh, you know, we're, no, I mean, we're in a rush, but you know, we're just so excited. It's, uh, and it's new, new territory for Warriors fans and for us, and uh, we're going to embrace every moment. Any signs of nervousness from you, or you just say, no, this is my time to shine? I mean, there will be the first few minutes of the first game, but like always, after the first first five minutes of the first quarter, it's just, you just come back to yourself and play the sport you've played your whole life. It's really you know, so uh, that's natural, and, uh, you know, it's, it's good to be a little nervous. It means you're excited. It means you, you know, you want to. What was the most uh, painful part of this process? Uh, 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 just uh, uncertain the last few days and uh, just having game one in jeopardy. That's probably the most painful process or part of it. But I knew that was not going to happen. And, uh, the week off was very beneficial. Was it, is it fair to say that it wasn't until today that you were confident in play? Uh, I was confident yesterday. Uh, today is just like the icing on the So you'll be evaluated just after this? Will, or could a decision be made today? Yeah, it will be made today. Will. Clay, uh, Michelle Roberts told some media that she was mortified at the idea that you would get cleared in the game and ultimately find out that there was a concussion. That's her opinion. Do you have an opinion, perspective? Well, it's tough that? because uh, my adrenaline was high and uh, I, f I felt alert, I felt focused. And, uh, so, you know, they ultimately made a great call not to put me back in. and. I was so proud of the way our guys responded to that final game and um, picked up the slack. It was awesome to see. Clay, going back to the beginning last summer when Steve and his staff first took over, what were those first conversations like that got you guys to this point? Got you to an all-star game and then so you get this team to the NBA finals. What, the, what were those first conversations like? Just, uh, what did they say to you? Steve didn't want to change much. I mean, he wanted to tweak a few things on the offensive end, keep the defense intact, and that's what he's done. And, you know, we've added some depth. and. Um, Man, it's honestly hard to remember but all the way back then. Uh, it feels like an eternity ago, and I mean, the year has gone by really fast. But it's, um, you know, I didn't think we'd be in this position this quick, so it's a, it's a great surprise. They added Sean, obviously a third guard. Uh, they were looking. Bob said he wanted to find one last year, got one this year. What was your impression when they first brought him in to, to help you guys out? Sean and the Andrew. Um, yeah. Both those guys uh, and Justin making the team is great. So. All three of those guys just uh, bring something different to the table. I mean, Sean's been in almost 10 years in this league. He's fought for everything he's got. And, uh, he's just a great leader. And, uh, you know, he's so different than what Steph does. Mm -hmm. He's uh, almost pulled 
opposites, and that's a great thing. It's a great look to throw at the uh, opposing team. And Leandro still has that good balance he had in his Phoenix days. And, you know, he's just such a great locker room guy as well, man. He makes it so fun to come to practice every day. Um, Justin, you know, he's had so many great moments this year and proved he's going to be a player. What's it like playing next to a guy that really looks good? It's great. They got another guy like that in Cleveland, obviously. And um, Steph makes it easier for everybody. He, uh, he does it with a unique style that has been seen before in the NBA. And um, like I said, he makes it easy on all of us, makes our job easy. And uh, he draws so much attention away from all of us that we get easy looks from him. So you guys only had really one game when you played Cleveland with mostly the same cast of characters on both sides. You know, you guys go to their place and lose that. 110 to 99. It's a small sample size. I mean, yeah. But do you take anything from that one in, in terms of just a matchup? You know, where are you focused on more than anywhere else when it comes to what you guys have absolutely got to get done? We, uh, yeah, we watched a lot of tape from both those games. And, uh, we make some adjustments, and obviously they're playing without one of their go to guys in Jack Love, but they got other guys step up like Tristan Thompson, who's a force in the offensive glass. And, we just gotta, you know, make them uncomfortable and um, you know, play to their weaknesses. And obviously, I can't tell you what those are yet. So, and uh, we'll see come Thursday. Can you say a word about the chemistry, the chemistry of the team under Coach Kerr? Uh, people like David Lee and Aki Wadala, you know, had leading roles in other teams. What difference that's Yeah. Well, those guys are true pros, and they deserve a lot of credit for, you know, coming off the bench and bolstering our second unit. A huge reason, why, huge reason why we're here is because our depth is so great. I mean, those guys are both all stars one time in their career. And both of them coming on the bench is just unheard of. And uh, our chemistry is something that's just been developing over the years. And it's our fourth year really all together. So that's natural for us to just be more comfortable with each other. And it's great to see. We really enjoy playing with each other. Thanks to most of Last question. Oh, man. Um, That uh, the way he willed the uh, that way that New Orleans game through that shot in the corner, and, and uh, that's one of them. Uh, just his overall consistency, and uh, he obviously broke his own record. And, man, I can't pick too many to pick. <laughs> too many. Great, thanks, thanks.